Hi, it's Wayne Mansfield. I'm just getting ready for my walk. It's uh, about 4.30 in the morning in Perth. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see that most days uh, I go for somewhere between 5 and 10 kilometre walk. It takes me um, about 10 minutes a kilometre, so from 40 minutes to uh, an hour and a half. And after the first few weeks of doing that, I found that uh, pretty boring old sort of uh, idea. So what I got is uh, on, on my iPad, sorry iPhone, um, a whole lot of podcasts to listen to. And uh, what it allows me to do as I'm walking around exercising and, and getting my 10,000 steps in, it, it allows me to get on with uh, finding out uh, what's happening in the world of internet, new business and things like that. And I thought I'd take this opportunity of recommending to you some of the podcasts I listen to as I walk the streets of Perth early in the morning. And uh, probably by the time you're seeing this, I'll be in the Middle East and I do the same thing walking around Doha uh, through the new suburbs and, and listening away to some absolutely fabulous stuff. So the first podcast I recommend to you is a guy called Andrew Walker and his podcast is called Mixergy. And on Mixergy, he's interviewed nearly 700 uh, people from startup businesses and he has a unique interview style where he digs deep and finds out all the details of how people have started the business, uh, built it up and lots of times sold it on. Now some of the stories are people who started with nothing and sold for hundreds of millions uh, but some are, are more realistic for people who are thinking about getting out of a job and they're people who uh, you know, the first week earned $50 and then it took them a year to earn enough to give the job up. But it's a fantastic uh, podcast that's called Mixergy uh, with uh, Andrew. Then there's some Aussie, um, Australian for those of you who are from somewhere else in the world, some Aussie podcasts that I listen to. Uh, and there's three in particular on marketing that I'd recommend to you. Uh, the first two have a particular guy uh, included in them, Tim Reed who I've never met, but I've seen pictures of him. He's a giant of a bloke, a great sense of humour. So t Tim uh, is the, uh, the link man in two podcasts I listen to. One's called Freedom Ocean that he does with James Shremko. And I think that one's titled uh, Freedom Ocean. And it talks about Tim's got all the questions and um, James has all the answers. And James uses a, a number of techniques in internet marketing uh, that allows him to live a lifestyle that most of us just dream about. Uh, the second one that Tim's involved in is a very uh, nuts and bolts arrangement. It's called um, Small Business Big Marketing, where he comes up with great ideas with his mate Luke Moulton. Uh, fabulous uh, show. Humor's a bit off, but then again, Aussie humor is off. But I highly recommend that as well. The um, uh, the, the next one is a combination between a young Aussie guy that I've followed for the last 10, 12 years uh, and an English guy who lives in Spain. So that's called Preneur Cast. Uh, it's Pete Williams and Don Boucher. Uh, and that's fabulous. He talks about all sorts of, of interesting things. Um, they've got one, uh, the seven levers that uh, help you make your business go quicker. Uh, young Pete has done some amazing things in his short life and it's a bounce off each other session that I find really interesting as I walk around. Now most of these podcasts are about an hour in length uh, but uh, I use um, the facility on the podcast that I listen to that allows me to listen to double time. After you get used to it, um, it's pretty easy to pick up all those things. Now the final one uh, with an Australian flavour is a young uh, guy from Sydney called Tyron Shum and I look at his material every time it comes out and it's called Outsourcing Live. And what Tyron is looking at is showing you how uh, you can outsource and he recommends people in the Philippines uh, all the things that you have to do but don't want to do so you can concentrate on the fun things. There's some really fabulous stuff on that. Even this video that we're doing today, uh, we're using techniques that uh, Tyron has recommended, so I highly recommend that. Uh, then there's a group of uh, podcasts from a, a mob in America uh, that's called Twig, T-W-I-G, and they put together 
uh, live uh, video cast, but then they put them out as podcasts. And for that, you can listen to all the things that are coming our way uh, in either the iPhone, iPad world or the Google Android world. So the four that I listen to on that, uh, iPad Today, uh, Twig All Things About Google, uh, Talk About Android. Um, actually, there's only three. There's one other one I've scrubbed off, but um, uh, they're fabulous. I was listening um, to the debate about... Uh, uh, the different versions of Android on your phone. Uh, they talk about things like uh, sandwich and honeycomb and jelly beans and the, all weird and wonderful names, but you can see uh, and find out which phone you should buy, which slat, slate you should do, and what's going to happen with Apple. Uh, but really interesting, interesting stuff. Um, there's one that I find really great for getting the grain matter uh, working, and that's called Freakonomics. It's based on a book called Freakonomics, which looks at um, how things happen and uh, economists look at them and draw conclusions. So uh, what they're looking at is, is uh, numbers reflecting the results of certain behaviour. So for example, one that really twickled, <laughs> tickles my fancy is who would be most likely to lie? And they give an example. Uh, out of these three groups of people, who would be the most likely to lie? Uh, Japanese sumo wrestlers, um, teachers, or students? Now, whilst you are making up your mind, I'll give you the, uh, the answer in reverse order. Um, Japanese sumo wrestlers uh, lie. What they do is that when the Grand Master has passed it, the young guys who are going to be the boss, uh, they get to him and say, look, we'll let you win this one, but you've you've got to give up. So uh, there's, there's never the, the Grand Master being beaten into submission when that happens. Uh, the next least likely uh, to lie uh, are students and that's usually due to pre peer pressure, keeping up with their mates. But the most likely group of people to lie and cheat uh, are school teachers. And they do it because if their students do well uh, they live in the glory of that. And how the economists work this out, uh, if you tell people they're really good, for a period of time, uh, them thinking they're good allows their scores to be really great. Uh, but after a while, reality kicks in. And the economists doing the study found that took about 18 months. So where teachers were uh, marking students higher than they deserved, within 18 months, reality set in. And they could go back and find the teachers who uh, fudge the scores on exams so that their kids could pass um, and um, obviously they suffer the wrath of, of that uh, cheating. Um, so that's a fabulous one. Um, uh, sometimes it's just a 10 minute one and other times it's an hour of all these interesting things. And then the last one I recommend to you is one that uh, my team put together and the leader of the team, Lauren, does a fabulous job and that's called Thirsty Fish. Uh, so if you search for that and you will find on that uh, our uh, audio programs, uh, power selling, cold calling for scaredy cats and a few other things that Lauren's found in our archives that uh, you can download and listen to. So when you're out and about walking, exercise the brain as well as uh, your body and learn by podcast. So until I see you again, this is Wayne Mansfield saying, uh, learn away as you walk away.